Hello everyone, I'm Simone Stanley here with HBCU Game Day and today I'm joined by a very special guest. I am joined by two-time All-American running back for Alabama State University, Ezra Gray. Ezra, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, thank you for having me on the show. It's just a blessing to be here. Definitely. I'm so glad you're able to join me today. So Ezra, you recently announced on social media that you are now entering into the 2022 NFL Draft Pool. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's been a long time coming. You know, it, it's mainly just a, a testament to how far I've come and, and those who have helped me along the way. So I feel like I'm not just doing this for myself, but those who saw something in me as well. That's awesome. So how did it feel to draft up that post? You know, I'm sure you've always dreamed of going to the NFL. How did it feel to finally have the opportunity to declare that you're entering into the draft? You know, it's something I have always thought about just uh, just minimally, but I have always thought about like seeing uh, some of my former teammates like uh, Titus Howard when he went in the first round, got drafted, guys like that. And, it, and they, they had their posts and, and their like reflection and things like that. And it, and it just kind of dawned on me then, cause at the time I never really thought of, you know, like making a post, uh, oh, I'm about to declare for the draft. But then like just talking around, it's, it's a pretty big deal. And I'm seeing the posts everywhere myself. Like after I put mine out, I see I see a lot of people even before I put mine out. But you know, the, the post was just a small part, just really just, saying I wanted to say thank you to those who really always saw something in me and my parents and my family who've instilled you know just that hard working work ethic mindset to go out there and hustle to get what it is that you wanted and you know now that the time is here it's, it's just a blessing to be here and I'm, I'm all ready for the process and ready for everything that's uh, gonna present itself to me. That's awesome so Ezra you put up quite a career at Alabama State University. But at what point in your college career did you realize that the NFL could be an option for you? At what point did you realize, I could take my talents to the professional level? Oh, I, I've kind of always just had it in the back of my mind. Like I always knew, cause this, this honestly, it's, it's not something surprising to me because this is something I really worked my whole life for, you know? I have brothers that came before me. I, my, uh, my oldest brother, Enrique Davis, he was a uh, All-American at Ole Miss. And then uh, my other brother, Ethan Davis, he he played at Troy and then spent some time at the Detroit Lions and then went to uh, play Canadian League as well. So it wasn't something that I was just like, oh, if I, if I get to go to the NFL, you know, like it'd be a dream come true. But it was more so a, like a goal of mine, so to speak. Like I know what I want to do and I've seen others who have done it before me and they're setting the blueprint for what it is that I need to get accomplished. So I'm just gonna do everything in my power and, and keep my faith in God that he will allow me to, to hurdle over any obstacles that come in the way. And of course, I've had my, my trials and tribulations throughout the whole time, but just the whole process, just enjoying the process of being able to get to this point, you know, it's, it's definitely been a blessing for me. So it's it's always been on my mind trying to to take that next step to go to the NFL. But but now that it's time, you know, like draft time's right around the corner for me to be a graduate. It's just like, it is just, I'm, I'm at a loss for words at it. Cause I, I've always imagined this moment, but now that it's finally here, it's just like, you know, it's go time. Like I'm, I'm hungry for it. I'm ready to do whatever needs to be done. Hungry, do whatever needs to be done. I like that. So. Most people don't know what it takes to go to the NFL and especially what this time is like for you prepping for the NFL draft. So you're talking about you're ready to start the process. What is the process like now that you finished with your college career? What are the steps that you have to take to become a NFL draft candidate? Now we're, it's a lot of combine prep going into things. You know, during the, uh, the course of your your seasons that you spend in uh, in school, it's, it's always for the team. You know, you're putting the team first and with everything you're doing in the workouts and things like that. But now it's time I can really just focus on myself and not be selfish while I do it. You know, it's really spending time on working on my 40 yard dash. The, the last one I've ran uh, coming out of high school, uh, going going into college, my fastest one was a 4 3 1. But now, like since, since being here, I haven't really trained for it as much. But during during like throughout the uh, the off season a little bit, I have ran again with my trainer back home, and I ran a, a four three five. So 
really like with a good amount of combine prep and training, I know that's going to be my meal ticket, that 40 yard dash time. So that's when I'm really going to go in on that. And, and hopefully I can pull out a 4-2. You know, that's 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 the goal of mine. If I can pull that out, you know, that's that's really going to solidify my name to the scouts. But really just running a fast time in the 4-3s, 4-2s, you know, that would be a big meal ticket. But really going into the draft process now is, like I said, a lot of combine prep and really just getting ready to talk to a lot of the scouts and what type of questions they'll throw at you to, to see your character, what type of person you are, what type of background you have. And, you know, if, you, if you're if you a lie or different things like that, I, I know they'll try to uh, throw some trick questions and, and things like that in there. But I'm prepared for it all. I'm an honest guy. You know, what you see is what you get. So just having it all happen for me, you know, it's just definitely a blessing in its own. That's for sure. Definitely a blessing. You got to watch out for those trick questions. I've seen a lot of blogs where people talk about some crazy questions they ask um, guys in the NFL draft interviews. So you definitely should check out some of those Reddit blogs and things like that. But I will do. I will do. so Ezra, what part of your game do you think will translate the easiest from college to NFL? Uh, I would say if not, if not my speed, I would have to say my IQ for the game, you know, and trust me, I know that the NFL is a completely different ball game. It's a completely different level, but my ability to adjust and adapt to things, I feel like I'll catch on to things quite, quite well, you know, pretty fast. I know like just dealing with the different playbooks and, and things like that, that different teams will have. And really it's been a blessing for me. It's, well, really it's been bittersweet at Alabama State, I, I've been through two head coaches. I've been through five different offensive coordinators and, and five different position coaches as well. So just being able to pick up on every little thing and, and anything that changes, you know, it's always sudden change and adversity that goes on with the learning process of uh, while you're doing things going in week to week. So me just being able to pick on different things, I feel like my IQ for the game would definitely benefit me a lot as well as, you know, uh, speed wise, it's, it's just something that you can't, you can't really coach up. You know, you can work on mechanics and things like that, but you either have it or you don't. And, and God has blessed me with it. So I really just look forward to showcasing it to the scouts, you know, what I can do. Definitely. You can't fake facts. I heard somebody say that. Before. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. You should use that in one of your draft interviews. I'll let oh, you yeah, I'll definitely use that one. I'm going to point that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ezra, you talked about um, in college at Alabama State, you was able to adjust to different coaches, different coordinators. With different coaches and coordinators comes different schemes. So when it comes to the NFL, what's the perfect offensive scheme for you? I love the way that, uh, that Kansas City runs their offense uh, with Tariq Hill being in different positions to really just – no, realizing their personnel to let him get in space to do what he does in space. You know, it's not just getting the ball just because he's fast and, and running between the tackles, but it's, it's sometimes when you, you motion him out to the slot, go ahead and give him a quick screen or, or, or let him run on a route and different things like that to really just open up the whole playbook. And it, it not only gives a chance for, you know, the playmakers to, to make plays, but it opens up the whole offense for when your eyes are on the playmakers, it's other guys out there who can make plays as well, who the defense probably hasn't been scouting all week. And, you know, lo and behold, they're able to make plays too. And I just feel like the way Kansas City utilizes their playmakers, that's a big, a big deal. And I really like the way that, uh, maybe not this season, but the seasons in the past that the uh, Carolina Panthers have been using Christian McCaffrey as well, as well as the Saints have been using uh, Alvin Kamara. Like getting their backfield involved, getting their uh, their running back involved, not only in the backfield, but the passing game as well. And that's that's a big part of my game that I don't really feel like uh, this season that I've been able to showcase as much as I, as I would like. Because honestly, I, slot is my first position. But when I came to Alabama State, they had moved me over to, to running back. So I like to show that I'm, I'm real versatile and seeing different offenses like that where they can use the running back in the slot, receiver, and uh, in the run game as well. That's, that's something I feel like will benefit me well. Definitely. And looking at the NFL now, a lot of the, you talk about the Christian McCaffrey's, the Alvin Kamara's, um, if you look at the Colts, Naheem Hines, they use their running backs, like you said, in the slot very versatile. So you think you mm -hmm. can see yourself being a pass catching back on the- Oh, mo oh most, 
Most definitely. And even if I had to make the transition to just play full time slot receiver and, and spend a little bit of time in the backfield as well, you know, I'm all for that as well. I, I like to say myself that uh, I have natural hands when it comes to uh, catching the football. And I've been continuously working with the receivers, working on my route running and things like that in the off season. So it's not something that, uh, you know, I'd be surprised with it should that happen. But, you know, it's, it's more so like an expectation, whatever the team needs. If, if I'm needed here, you know, I'm going to be there. If I'm needed at another position, I'll play that as well. And I would like to say that my trainer has benefited me greatly to be able to put myself in the position to, to do that. Definitely. So we talked about your strength. So we know you're fast. You know, you have natural hands, great IQ for the game, versatile, a lot of great things. You know, the scouts are going to be combing through strengths and weaknesses. What do you think is the most underrated part of your game that, you know, the scouts might not know that you're great at? I would say the the underrated part of my game is uh, pretty much what I can do uh, in space. You know, I, I have a lot of highlights where it's, it's me kind of running the ball and, and I'm kind of creating things and making things happen. But I really feel like if, I, if I'm lined up out there at the slot and I can get like a wide receiver screen, it's a lot of things that I can do in space. And, and sometimes people don't ever, they, they never really realize how fast I really am until they see me like I break a long run or something like that. Because at running back, you're not really in a position where you're having to, to fly downfield running past uh, too many defenders running on routes and things like that, where you can really open up your stride and really show like what you really can do. But I feel like that's my strongest part of my game is also like my most underrated part as well. Like, cause I have like games where I'll break out and make a run and I'll have coaches come up to me like on my team that'll say like, oh great, I didn't know uh, you had wheels like that. Or you could burn like that and things like that. I'm like, coach, I mean, like I, uh, I run a four three. I wish, wish right. you ain't man. But, but a lot of them don't know that though. Like, like I said, I, I've been through so so many coaching changes here at Alabama State. So really, just it's just a testament to to God blessing me and really just allowing me to to do what I do. So even though it's an underrated part, you know, I just continue to try to work hard as much as I can. So I'll be able to one day put that on display. That's awesome. It's definitely to be able to put it on display here soon. So you talked about um, your brothers who matriculated on. You said you had a brother that played for the Lions, played in the CFL. Are those the guys that's mentoring you or do you have any other guys that are mentoring you in this process? Oh, he is most, uh, my brothers, both of them, Enrique and Ethan, they're, they're both very instrumental in my life. And it's really just how I've been since I was growing up. You know, it's, it's always been kind of thought of, of like, yeah, they play football. So it's likely that Ezra will too. And and, they, and they've always told me, you know, I don't have shoes to fill or anything like that because I'm my own man at the end of the day. But just having them in my corner and, and having them speak to me and, and different words of advice that they give to me. And even throughout the pre-draft process, they've both been very instrumental on uh, just helping me out on, on different things and the way I should go about certain things. They, they've definitely been a, a big part of uh, my life. And it's definitely been a blessing just, just having them here because I know some guys, they'll, they'll come out and they don't really have anyone to, to really help them out or, or give them advice, like good mentorship when it comes to certain things. And it, it's that's just the fact of life. But just having them here, it's, it's definitely been a blessing. So if I had to say, like, who are like the players I look up to or my favorite players like that, anytime anybody asks me that, I say both of my brothers. What a beautiful thing, for sure. <laughs> so lastly, I got to ask you, Ezra, the invites are going out now for the HBCU Legacy Bowl. Invites for the NFL Official Combine is going to be going out soon as well. How do you believe you stack up amongst the other participants, potential participants? You know, as far as the uh, the Legacy Bowl goes, I'm, I'm real confident in that bowl. And I definitely love everything that they're doing. I believe this is the, the first year that they're having it. And it'll be over there at the New Orleans Saints Stadium, I believe. So really just being able to be on that stage should I get an invite and be able to showcase like in pass what I what I can do in a, in a different offensive setting, you know? In, in all-star games, as you know, you're not playing with guys that you have chemistry with and it's different guys from different backgrounds and different coaching uh, coaching points that, that have been instilled with them. So just showing my ability to adapt and be able to run behind a different offensive line and things like that, I'm looking forward to showcase. And as far as the uh, NFL combine goes, you know, 
I would like to say that my numbers, I feel like, can can stack up with the best of the best of them. I know uh, it's a lot of guys that have put up great numbers in the past, but I feel like when it comes to the 40, my, my numbers will come up there. And the vertical jump, my numbers will come up there. On, even on the bench press, like, I know I'm considered like a, a, a speed back, but sometimes <laughs> people forget, like, how strong I, I actually am at times. And it's, it's just, you know, it's a lot of things that I'm just looking forward to showcase on the big stage. So... Should I get that invite to that NFL combine? You know, that, that'll that be a blessing in its own just to be able to showcase not just for myself, but HBCUs, the talent that that doesn't really get showcased often when you when you look at the history of the combine, you'll see maybe four or five guys at the most from HBCUs that are participating in the combine. So just now that more and more spotlight is being shed on the HBCUs. I would definitely like to be one of those forerunners to go out and and really just show like, hey, like the swag and the, the MIAC as well. We we got some dolls over here. So right. it's, you know, it's it's one of those things that uh I feel like will go a long way, not just to my journey, but the journey of, of others as well. Definitely. Each one, teach one, you going on to the next level, you putting on for Alabama State swag HBCUs, the Legacy Bowl, and hopefully the NFL Combine is gonna definitely you know, leave some breadcrumbs for those coming behind. But Ezra, I can tell how excited you are. We're definitely excited for you. Think I'm gonna be looking out for the most of that four two. See if you can <laughs> stronger. You don't want to get too strong. You gonna, you know, that's a lot of weight. Right, it's, it's all the balance. It's all the balance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, well, I'm, when, I in, when I go in uh, and, and do the pro day training and everything, you know, I'm I'm backed by a pretty good team, and they they know they've been in the game for about I think 30 plus years. So. I'm really looking forward to that, how they balance it out. And they, they told me they gonna help me go to a level that I haven't even seen before. So I'm just excited to see, you know, what, what I can do, my full potential. Definitely, and we're excited to see what you can do as well. Guys, I'm Simone Stanley, this is Ezra Gray. Ezra, two-time All-American, three-time All-Conference running back from Alabama State University and an upcoming NFL 2022 draft prospect. Guys, thank you guys so much for joining us today.